Stampers, Kelly Atchison at a stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today on the Paper Pumpkin Blog Hop, I have this cute little box that I'm going to show you how to make. And this is what we've got in the box. It's three Ghirardelli chocolates, which fits perfectly in here. I have to give some credit to my friend Lisa. She made this adorable little box for me, and I thought, oh my gosh, that is perfect for a candy box to go with my Paper Pumpkin blog hop this month. So this is the card that I made with the Paper Pumpkin kit. I absolutely love the silver and the little Santa Claus comes from the Hearts Come Home stamp set. Paper Pumpkin is one of my favorite little treats every month, and I do, I treat myself to it because I really enjoy the projects that Stampin' Up! has made for us, and I love coming up with alternate ideas. All of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers receive seven to eight alternate ideas every month from me to go with their Paper Pumpkin kit. So if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you're gonna get seven to eight different ideas each month to use with your kits. This is the October kit. It's called Pining for Plaid, and it came in this adorable box. These are the cards that Stampin' Up! intended us to make, these cute shaker cards. And then this is what I came up with. And I also came up with this matching little box that I can give a little gift of candy. Earrings would fit in here, um, just about any jewelry would fit in here, and it's super, super easy. We're gonna use the envelope punch board for this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, to make this cute little box, we're gonna start off with a piece of the plaid paper. This is the card base from our paper pumpkin kit. This is two inches wide by seven and a half inches long. And then I've also got a piece of basic black cardstock that is six by six. So let's do the little belly band first. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer so we can do some scoring here. We're going to score at one and a quarter, two and a half, five, and six and a quarter. Once we have those score lines on here, we're going to bring in our scalloped tag topper punch and we're going to punch both ends and you want to make sure you're pushing that all the way into the punch and we're going to do that on both ends and this is what we get and now we're going to fold on our score lines and this is going to give us our little belly band super easy so far right for the box that holds our Ghirardelli candies, we're going to take the 6x6 piece of basic black cardstock. And this is a little different than what we're used to with this envelope punch board. Remember, the envelope punch board has all your paper sizes on it. So if you have a card that you need to make an envelope for, you're going to look over here to see what size your card is. Then it's going to tell you what size to cut your paper, and it's going to tell you what measurement to start your score line at. But we're not going to do any of that here. We are going to take each side and do it exactly the same. We're going to put our cardstock in up to two and an eighth inches, and we're going to score and punch. And then we're going to put it in at three and seven eighths. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to score and punch. Now we're going to turn it, and again, two and an eighth, score and punch, three and seven eighths, score and punch. I told you this was really easy, right? All four sides. Score and punch at two and an eighth, score and punch at three and seven eighths, and the last side. Same thing, score at two and an eighth and punch, and then we're going to score and punch at three and seven eighths. And this is what you're going to end up with. Now I'm going to bring in my paper snips here, and you only need to make four little snips. You're going to do that on two of the ends. So I'm choosing this end and I'm just going to cut up to that first score line, right like that, and then I'm gonna turn it right around and do the opposite end. 
cut up to that first score line. And now we're going to fold on all of our score lines. And this is going to fold right up into the cutest little box that is the perfect size to hold the Ghirardelli chocolates. I'm going to bring in my liquid glue and you're going to pull these tabs in on the sides that you cut and we're going to add some glue to those. Remember, less is better. You don't want too much glue. If you get too much glue, it takes too much time to dry. We want these to dry really fast. All four tabs. I'm going to just bend these back a little bit so we can see what's going on with these tabs and you're going to bring these sides up and you're going to square them up. So I'm just kind of holding them in place for a little bit until they get set. And again, if you use too much glue here, you're going to have to hold them for a long time. But if you use less glue, they will stick together just fine and you won't have to hold them for so long. And I'm just looking around the edges to make sure that we're all squared up here and we've got a nice square box. Isn't it cute? I mean, that's just as simple as this is. We're going to fold these in, fold these in. This is our belly band. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to bring in some of this cool tinsel and this is going to match up with the silver that I put on the matching card. So I've got green, black, and silver on my card and I'm going to do green, black, and silver on my little box. This tinsel comes in a pack with silver and red so you get two rolls in one pack. It's in the holiday mini catalog. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Oh my gosh, this is just perfect. Let's get that centered. Oops, pushed it a little bit too far. There's her cute little belly band. I'm going to cut that off. Here is our beautiful card, our adorable little box to match. We're going to put these Ghirardellis in there. Three of them, that's a nice little treat for somebody, wouldn't you say? Super easy gift box to add some little chocolates. This makes the perfect secret Santa gift or perhaps just a coworker or you could give this to your bank teller as a little gift at Christmas time. I love this. So there you go. Thanks you guys for joining me for this video. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp I'd be happy to send you our current catalogs. Make sure you check out my blog. I have lots of great ideas on there. And don't forget to click down here in the corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything I have coming out. I've got some great 12 weeks of Christmas programs coming out for my customers. You don't want to miss those. Have a great rest of your week. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.